Fight. And we return with the Battle of All Battles, Smoke versus Sector, a guy who I like better in terms of his teleport, and he has a nice counter. And let's talk about last episode, though, because a lot of you had some, uh, complaining or whining or whatever to do with the fact that I showed every fight against, um, Scorpion, or Sub, I'm sorry, Sub and Reptile. Now, when I was recording the video, I thought that this is really cool. You get to see a bunch of awesome matches. They all were pretty intense. Um, but after the fact, I, I kind of realized where you're coming from. So, close! I'm admitting to the fact that you're probably right, that it kind of is boring to watch that many deaths in a row. So, what I'm going to do from now on is, if I die more than, you know, a handful, more than once, let's say. If I die once, whatever, we'll show that. Um, but if I die more than once... Then we will. I'll edit it out, okay? I'll edit it out, and you'll just get to see the wins. The story can progress. You can watch the guy hanging in the background and struggling, whatever he's doing, um, and we'll go from there. So that's that's how we'll work it. The, the the part that becomes awkward, and let me just explain to you why I wouldn't want to edit out, um, even if they were lost. Is imagine imagine me recording this live commentary, right? I'm recording this commentary of the game, and then I I cut a significant portion out, and all of a sudden. The commentary becomes very disjointed. So say we were talking about turtles, well then I, I can't I can't just like leave the audio because maybe maybe during the first log we were talking about my favorite color. Then maybe the second episode we were talking about like I don't know my favorite breed of turtle. So now that discussion would make no sense. So I can't just cut it and jump right in. So basically what it requires is that I very specifically find what I was talking about. If that makes any sense and quickly or, or slowly fix it to the extent where I, I have to go back and and make sure that the commentary matches up because if it doesn't that's going to be very awkward if that makes any sense at all um, to you and there's a loss that is one so we're okay we'll show this we'll show the retry here I was kind of kind of just learning what Sector likes to do and he likes to do that and he likes to do his, his jump I, I for some reason like Cyrax more than Sector um, but Sy Sector is pretty cool, and he's got a cool suit, here, which is very nice. So, we'll limit the losses. Um, I will deal with the uh, nonsense of fixing the uh, the audio, if you can... I hope you understand what I'm saying. Like, it just messes up the commentary, especially if it's live. If I was just recording like a non-live commentary, it wouldn't make much difference. But the fact that it's live really, uh, really makes it kind of different. Um, now, I did get all of your messages letting me know that the shake move is to deflect projectiles. So thank you for that. I saw that. Um, and again, Sector, since he's not really using very many, I don't need to use it very much. But, I do need to find a way to block his stupid teleport. It's really annoying, and it's really strong. And hopefully this kills him. I'll do one more. Some of you are complaining that I'm using the same moves over and over again. Well, what I want to tell you that's hard about Mortal Kombat, I mean, if you don't have the game or you haven't played it yourself, is that you're, you're using different characters every couple minutes. So, you can't really get accustomed to anything. I um, mean, unless you're going to be someone who's going to devote the rest of your day to mastering all the characters, not just the guy you're going to be, um, but all the characters, I don't know how you could be super successful and pull off ridiculous combos. Because like I said, you're, you're dealing with such a wide range of characters. You have such a wide range of moves in, in a very short period of time. I only get to do a couple fights with these guys. Um, so that's why I'm kind of spamming some of the moves. And I'm doing what I need to do to win. Because again, like, like you, re you remember, hopefully, you want me to win. You don't want to see loss after loss after loss after loss. And so sometimes that's going to mean using moves that work. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't feel guilty or bad about that at all. Uh, I think it's just a smart way to play. You know what you're good. Oh, phew. Dodge is extra. To know what moves you're good with and to know what moves you're not good with, you need to handle it that way. So that's a win for Smoke. Let's enjoy a cutscene. I will never submit. There is great energy nearby. Um, Ray Dude? They must not take him. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Raiden. I am called Smoke. 
Why are you here in Outworld? To participate in a tournament to save Earthrealm. Join us, Smoke. Forgive me, but if Sector was searching for me, he is hunting Sub-Zero as well. Sub-Zero? Call me crazy with a K, but didn't we see him die? The Grand Master intends to turn every Lin Kuei into a cyborg. My friend is in danger. The tournament. I have a feeling your friend will be there. Then let us go. Sub-Zero's soul depends on it. A pity you could not have cooperated. You are ordered to return to the Lin Kuei Temple for assimilation. Cyrex! I am Lin Kuei Unit LK4D4. You will come with me. I'm sorry for what they did to you, but I will not comply. Round no boy, we have to be sub zero! I actually had some uh, funny dialogue. Crazy with AK, that's a good one. Mr. Johnny Cage, okay, sub, what do you do? Ice ball, slide, ice clone, ice puddle. So we're gonna mainly be using slide. Ice ball and ice puddle, I think, here. Actually, we'll throw up an ice clone just to enjoy ourselves right at the beginning. Cyrax, another robot, but he is probably my favorite guy, so I gotta, gotta be careful. I don't wanna hurt his feelings too much, because I like being him. I don't want him to be sad with me. Uh-oh, bomb. Yeah, look at that. It's called this is called Sub-Zero Domination down here in Hellman, where the heck he is. Excuse my lack of Mortal Kombat uh lore knowledge, but it feels like hell to me, sort of. Ooh, big slide. Whoa, 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 whoa. What kind of move is that? I can't do that Cyrax. Okay, it's pulling out the big gun. Oh no, the net. That is my favorite move. It's he doesn't use it well because he's a stupid computer, but uh <laughs> If you, if you can use that well, it's like so infuriating for your opponents because uh, they get trapped in the net and there's nowhere they can go. And there's some really good combos. You do the net and then teleport and you can pretty much get them anywhere on the entire screen. Ah! There we go. Huddle. You're dead. Get over here. Wait, that's Scorpion. Sub-Zero needs a quote like that, huh? He needs something he can say. What could he say? Something with ice, right? I have no idea what it'd be, though. Ooh. He's got his moves don't seem to work as well on the analog stick. Like I feel like some of the same inputs don't work as well with certain characters. Like I could be totally ridiculous and out of my mind. That's just how I feel. Oh yes, use that X-ray. Failure. If you hear a dog in the background, that's my dog. She's freaking out. Um, probably from a squirrel. She's a miniature poodle. In case you cared. He's actually pretty good because like does that projectile. I don't think the projectile does damage, does it? Whoa. Is there any damage to that projectile? Come on. Hey, Cyrus, get out of my way. Let's see if there's any damage to the projectile. Come on. Fire that ice ball. Sub, what are you doing? I can't do it this way. Is that just any damage to him? Gotta be careful. I think we're gonna win this one for sure, but. Uh, okay, whatever. Fine. Do the ice ball. I'll just kill him anyway. Ice ball or not. Oh, we got an x ray. Good block, Cyrex. You're the freaking genius. Enjoy that ice sword. I think he's almost down for him. Oh, you're dead. We got him. We got him. Oh, yeah. Dodge. Sub Zero with the win. 750 coin. Oh, yeah. I will face the Lin Kuei when my task is done. Not before. The readings were getting stronger, and now they're gone. I. Sub Zero? But you're dead. I am not the Sub Zero you speak of. He was my brother. Your brother? I am only here to learn Sub Zero's fate. He was killed by someone named Scorpion. Where would I find him? Try the Coliseum. That's where. Disturbed our regeneration process. Ermac. Gotcha. Round one. 
Alright, so, like I promised, I lost to Mac more than once, so I cut it out, and you don't have to deal with it, and here we're gonna hopefully beat him, otherwise I'll have to cut this out, and then you'll never hear this commentary at all either, but who knows, I don't know. Hopefully I'll win here, I think I will. I think I know Ermac's play style. It's obnoxious. Whoa, that's a crazy move. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, whoa, whoa. Freeze yourself. Step in that puddle. I wish they just stepped in the puddle freeze. That kind of has to hit them, I think. Oh, there. Whoop. Oh, no, we were too goofy with that one. He's good at blocking moves. Definitely. Ermac is an x-ray blocking champ. Talking last episode a little bit about, or not last episode, last fight that you guys don't see here. Uh, cut it out for ya. Talking about who's, who's extra did more, and like we basically both did ours at the very beginning of the match, and I felt like mine. Felt like mine did more. Call me crazy. Felt like mine did more. Alright, he's gonna use it soon, we know it. Come on. I like Sub Zero's Ice Sword. Like, he could just fed a stupid nothing, but he has the Ice Swords. Awesome! Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keeping the episodes pretty, uh, it's, it's, they, you know, some are way longer than others, obviously, but for the most part, I'm doing a pretty good job, I think, of giving you guys a solid number of fights. Okay, yes, the last one was silly because we did the battles with uh, Sub Zero and fake Sub Zero and Reptile, but for the most part, I feel like we, we cover a, a scary fortune story um, for the most part each time. Ermac, he just. Like, I'll get him once, and then he comes back as, like, vengeance. Really, really nasty, actually. I want to pick up the X-Ray, okay? I'll save it for next round. Just because I feel like I'm not going to go over here. Ermac, Frozen win. We're here, that one. Okay. Gosh. That was stupid. I shouldn't have used it. Oh, well. Come on, get up. Ice ball. Yes. Is the throw the most powerful basic attack? I, I should probably be comboing this, right? Okay. Ah, oh, oh. There's not many, like, priority issues in Mortal Kombat. Like, I feel like it's rare that you have, like, a, oh, what, what attack gets priority? But when it happens, it's kind of annoying. Why can I not... There we go. Goodness. Ice Ball. Like, what's the best attack here? I guess that would be better than just the stupid throw, right? Like, doing a little bit of combo action. Hey, don't block. Let me throw you. You gotta watch out because Ermac almost has an X ray, X ray, X ray. I had uh, dental X rays today. Where's the dentist? How exciting is that? Actually, it was really fun. Oh, that's good. Ow. Come here. Come here. Ow. Careful. Oh, good. You blocked it. That could have been disastrous. Come on. One kick and he's done. One, one solid chicken. <sighs> oh, yes. Boom! Upper shots, game over. And with that, guys, we're going to wrap this episode up. So, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later.